So, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's been a very, very long time since I played this game on the channel. And the last time I played, we had a level 2 company, if you want to call it that. This time, I've gone on to my main game save, which is level 15. Still not as high as I would like it. But the reason I've done that is because I actually have other people driving. So, there's not the like tedious grind of starting with nothing, doing the simple, boring, short jobs working your way up on the skills for your long distance deliveries and stuff we've got some workers however i've got five people in the garage including myself and i only own four trucks so what i've done is i've given a driver a truck each and i'm just doing the quick jobs until i've got enough money to buy my own truck and i found one on the market that's 505 miles of driving and there are 35 tons of wooden beams on the back of it but if we hover over this we are in the Globetrotter XL, 750 horsepower beast. So I've got the speed limiter and everything off, and this could go really bad. But we're going to take this one. I need to remember we're not in the UK, so we're going to be driving on the right-hand side of the road. Okay, so here we go. If we have a look... Oh, it's a double train. Oh, you are joking. I just thought it would be some, like, long single trailer. See, the reason I went with the 750 horsepower is because we can absolutely slam it on the motorway. But I had no idea that it's a double trailer. I don't think I've ever done a successful job with a... Well, any job at all, really, with a double trailer. And I forgot to indicate I'm useless. I mean, I'm going to use the excuse that I've not played for a while. Trailers seem to be all right. It might not be that much more difficult. I'm not entirely sure. And last time I did upload this to the channel, I had the music playing so I could just chill and drive. And I had the game sound off. But this time around, I've decided... Look how much I'm on the grass there. I've decided to turn the music off and we're going to have the actual game sound so you will be able to hear the truck and everything. We can go straight after this. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was too close. Please get around that corner. Oh, I'm not going to manually park this one. I don't trust myself. It's going to take a little while because we've got 500 miles to drive. And there's no traffic offences or anything like that. So the police can't actually touch me for driving too fast. So I can just go whatever speed I feel comfortable, which is pedal to the metal. And this will be a nice little uh, paycheck as well. So we'll be a lot closer to getting our own truck. I really want to be level 25 because then I can actually get this truck for myself. And then if I take a small, like, say an eight ton uh, cargo, I can absolutely slam it along the motorways. Right, I've taken that far too wide. Have I screwed myself over? I might be all right there. That wasn't too bad. I took it really, really wide, though. Okay, so we've got to follow this round to the left. Got to take that right as we get round here. I'm actually quite nervous. And we will get a little bit of nighttime driving. Because we're estimated to get there at four in the morning. Yeah, this is... Uh... This is going to be horrible. Okay, I don't think that first one was too bad. And then what I'm going to do is actually stick to the route. Like the red path. Because we need to go all the way down here. I need to take this as wide as I possibly can. Okay, that'll do for that part. Left mirror's looking fine. And then here, we've got to go wide again. Probably too wide. I can imagine a couple of comments moaning. Ugh. Oh, we've just made it round there. This is scary, scary driving for me. Okay, so this is three hours 15. It's going to cost a thousand euros. 
I changed it over to GBP because I'm from the UK, so a lot of people would think I'd play with pounds. But the thing is, for me, because I've played this game for so long and it's Euro Truck Simulator 2, I've always kept it to Euros. So changing it over to pounds, it looked so weird. So I stuck it back on Euros. Um, I'm just going to go straight away. Is that safe? It, it looks to be safe to me. Yeah, I don't think we'll be going too fast on the motorway, at least at the start, because, yeah, this has got 750 horsepower under the hood. But at the same time, we are carrying 35 tons. So we've got 490 miles of driving. We're allowed to go 50 at the moment. Don't really care about the speed, but it's just interesting to know. So we are picking up a little bit of speed. At times, it'll probably be a little bit too much. But we've managed 60 miles an hour. And this is a little bit of downhill, so we should pick up some more. However, I've got a feeling these turns are going to be a little bit tighter than usual. So I'm not going to go too fast around this bit. I say that I'm pretty much at the same speed. There we go, through a tunnel. Yeah, currently going 75 in a 50 zone. We have 35 tons of cargo behind me. I'm not going to try and stay in lane all the time and stuff like that. We're playing this to have fun, not to fully simulate it. I've decided to take a simulator and add some arcade mechanics to it myself. And I'm hoping at some point through this journey, we get a couple of like dings or whatever on the notifications to say that our drivers have actually dropped off their car guy. I'm not sure who's got a job going right now and who's not. We are absolutely speeding at the minute though. 80 miles an hour. We've gone from a 5 past 4 estimated time of arrival, or ETA or whatever, to quarter past 3 at the moment. 85 miles an hour. I don't know if we're going to have to stop for fuel. I really, really hope we don't. I don't like pulling into the like uh, petrol stations with standards. My God, you idiot! I don't like pulling into them with uh, standard trailers and even without a trailer. Let alone pulling into a petrol station with two. See, I know it would be simulating it better, but imagine how boring it'd be in a video game to drive 50 along here the whole time. I'd be bored out of my head. Because, yeah, it might take away the simulator side of it, but it adds to the risk and the challenge. One wrong move and you're causing a lot of damage. Potentially flipping. If you try and take a corner too quick, you are flipping the trailer and your uh, cabin. So we're just passing another petrol station. And thinking about it, even though we don't need to do it, I'm actually going to pull into one of them. Because I want to see if it is more challenging with a double trailer. I'm going 91 miles an hour at the moment. We're going to slow down a bit here because there's like the tiniest bit of a hill. And we don't have like 750 horsepower is uh, a lot. But you'll see that it's still not enough for the weight we've got on the back of this. Oh, that's a sharp turn coming up. I do not like it. Right, I'm going to have to slow down a little bit. I'm going to get in there in front of you. Okay, I can go into this lane. And then through here as well. Scary stuff. They're going from London to there. I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of the places. Finishes in 21 hours. Uh, yeah, these guys are apparently going from Manchester to London. But it says they're sleeping. Current trailer NA. Oh, they're all on duty. They've just stopped to rest. I've just seen it up here at the top left. So that's a 10 hour finish. That's a five hour, nine and a 21. Now when you get your drivers for the first time, like starting on a 1.7 rating, 
yeah, they're making like three euros fifty, like eight hundred a day. Whereas now, like this guy is up to like four and a half grand a day. Obviously, mine's higher. I can take on like really, really good jobs and stuff. So I've got this one. Like um, his last level will go into long distance, and then we can start switching it up. They're still training in long distance. And I'm doing the just-in-time deliveries with uh, Harold. But yeah, they're all on duty. This is not going to be fun. I don't have to pay for the petrol because it's a company truck, like not my company. But let, let's try this. Let's see how tough this is going to be. Because I've got double trailer. I don't like it already. Uh, what's going to be the better one for me? Probably this one on the right. Oh, have I made a mistake coming in here? Look at this. You don't get a lot of room, do you? Okay, so we hold enter. That's going to fill up the tank. That's a big tank. 600 litres put into it for 1,300. Now we've got to try and get out of here. Yeah, your fuel expenses are covered by the employer. Did we do it? I think we're safely out. Everyone can wait for me. I see you on my right-hand side. I might be playing against the rules with a lot of traffic offences and stuff off, but I still use my mirrors. Is there anything... No, we seem all right for now. It's the next part that I'm worried about. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Why do I test myself to see if there's a challenge with things? We've got this one going. We've got loads more coming. Are you going to let us out? No one's going to let us out. We've got one more truck. Come on, off you go. There we go, we're clear. I might have done it successfully. Oh, I've given myself a pat on the back. That was worthy. I, I did that quite well. I'm happy with that. Very, very happy with it. So we have 137 miles to go. Our ETA is 20 past one in the morning. I'm just going to try and get on that inside lane again. I don't want to steer too quick. We can just casually drive into the lane. Look, that on the right-hand side, that's what I was expecting to drive. Something like that. That just had a load of uh, like logs on the back of it. We got slammed with a double trader instead. Uh, I need that far, far lane. And would you believe I had an account? Well, I say an account. I had a profile that was well over level 25 at one point. And stupid me, before I even realised, I uh, when I uninstalled the game because I took a big break from it, didn't want it on the hard drive anymore, I uh, kind of deleted my save data with it as well. Like, I was going through my C drive and I found a folder for it. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm not going to play it again, blah, blah, blah. Or I'm not going to play it for a long time. So I wiped all the save data and I had to start scratch. And this profile that I'm playing on now is the uh, the start from scratch one. And I've just noticed we are actually quite close. 67 miles away. We've done this really, really well. This is probably the only driving game where I can consistently do job after job without crashing. I mean, I've had loads and loads of crashes in the past and wrong turns and stuff like that. But like over time with the practice because I've put I think a good 80 plus hours into this I've kind of learned where to slow down and where to be extra cautious like some of the corners in this game won't seem as tough as they are but I always slow down because I know that like oh this certain corner is going to have the risk of you tipping over because of the 
strength for which you're going to have to spin that steering wheel around to actually get around the corner. Some corners are lethal when they really don't look it, especially when you're looking at the sat nav in the bottom right. So we've got less than 50 miles on this journey. The ETA is still getting closer to us. We've knocked like almost three and a half hours off the estimated time of arrival, which is fantastic. And you guys are probably not going to be able to see it, although you can zoom in on YouTube now. So if you want to try, if you have a look to the left of our speedometer in the truck, where the petrol and everything is, we've just passed, well, in this journey, on this journey, we have put this uh, distance clock above 115,000 miles. This has been nearly 40 minutes of driving. Real lifetime, by the way. I don't like it. I really, really don't like it. Okay, we nailed the corner. Slowly coming up. Oh, you're not actually allowed to... So we can just pull it up in front of us. We'll do that for the extra 20 XP. You're not allowed to manually, like, slot it into a specific spot. Okay, let's just keep pulling it forward a bit. We're good on both sides. We are good. Uncouple that, and we are done with the job. Driven distance, 502 miles. Look at the money and the XP coming in. We just reached level 16. Very, very happy with that. Took us 11 hours, 50 minutes, real lifetime, around 40 minutes or so. Consumed 588 liters of fuel. But for the 502 miles, 18,000, 800 XP for that as well. Proficiency level 15, four grand. Long distance, skill rank six, 200 XP. Like you guys can see the money and the XP there. So the 20 XP is kind of pointless. And even 60 for reversing it into its like very specific space. Not really worth it. I mean, I'll still do it, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. Because we leveled up though, we can do the just in time or we could do high value cargo. I want these ADRs as well. And yeah, it's all about just making progress from here on out. We've got our drivers doing their jobs. We did a double trailer, nearly 170,000, which actually soon, I'd say another two, three jobs like that, and we'll have enough to buy our own truck. And then it's about working on extra garages, extra trucks, extra drivers, and we just turn this into like a multi-million dollar or multi-million euro empire with a massive truck fleet and everything and on that note we are going to leave the video there if you enjoyed it leaving a like is appreciated if you wish to support me further as a creator there are links in the description let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments and if you want to watch more you can click the video on screen all support on the channel is greatly appreciated and i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching